Hey YouTube, Kira Tweak here, bringing you guys my Rocket Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for May 2018. Uh, this deck profile is for post Flames of Destruction. We didn't really get any Rocket support, but we did get a few cards that Revolver uses uh, in the anime uh, with his Rockets, which actually do help with the speed of the Link Summonings that the deck can do, plus an all-new Link Monster as well um, that he used, that can be used in the deck. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So to start off, I run three Magna Rocket Dragon. The whole point of the Rockets are that basically at the end of the turn that they were destroyed, you special summon a different Rocket from your deck to the field. So you keep making use of those uh, effects. And if they're destroyed um, basically by um, a, a Link Monster's effect, they have additional effects as well. So with a Magna Rocket, when a Link Monster effect is activated that targets his face-up card on the field, quick effect, you can destroy this card, then send one monster on the field to the graveyard, and during the end phase, you get that special summon effect. It just has to be a Rocket Monster except Magna Rocket, and they all have that one limitation, but still very, very good. Plus, a lot of their stats are pretty nice as well, being 1,800 attack for the Magna Rocket. And also three Auto Rocket Dragon. Uh, with Auto Rocket Dragon, his effect is um, when this face-up card, uh, you can destroy this card, then send one spell and trap card on the field to the graveyard. And then he has the same special summon effect uh, when it was destroyed on the field by bad or car effect and sent to the graveyard. You can special summon except for Auto Rocket Dragon. Three and threes of both just because we have uh, things that can handle spell and traps and monsters. And it sends them to the graveyard so you can stop the destruction effects as well, which is very good to make use of. And I also run three Metal Rocket Dragon uh, with this one. Uh, when a Link Monster activates an effect that targets this face-up card in the field, you can destroy this card, then destroy all of your opponent's cards in the column this card was in during the end phase. Um, and also, uh, if it was in the graveyard during the end phase, so it doesn't activate during the end phase, um, it's, that's during, that's the special summon effect, but everything in the column will go with him, so play it wisely where you want to place this if you special summon it off of one of your other rocket monsters, obviously, because um, then if it's like against pendulums, place it in that far end or far right um, scale, and you can take care of a lot of different cards depending on what's there. And also two Shell Rocket Dragons with this one. Um, you can destroy this card, then destroy one monster in the column this card was in. And if you do, destroy any monsters in the card's adjacent zones. So kind of a heavy hitter for sure, um, but um, situational. That's why I only run two of them. But 2,000 defense, so good to sit on as well. But like I said, it doesn't work as much as, you know, a whole column effect or just a spell trap uh, or monster effect. So just the two of. The same with uh, Anis the Rocket. This one is a, um, a pretty much like an effect negation. Tar one monster on the field, it's unable to attack and also has its effects negated. And during the end phase, you have the same special summon uh, tactic with this card. But twos of like just um, Shell Rocket and this, just because they're more situational, obviously. The effect negation is good, but it won't happen as often um, as some of your other cards. But um, the defense is a good another one to sit on for sure. And that's it for all the rocket monsters. We should be getting some more in Cybernetic Horizon, so I'll definitely be looking forward to that. I think these are actually all the uh, rocket monsters that we do actually have so far. But uh, for the non-rocket monster support, three Gateway Dragon. With this, if your opponent controls a Link monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Gateway once per turn this way, and once per turn you can special summon one level four or lower Dark Dragon monster from your hand. So it speeds up kind of your summonings with um, your other rockets in their hand. And with the more Link monsters we get, the more uh, chance your opponent plays them, obviously, meaning it's easier to special summon this guy out to the field. And I'm running two of the new background dragon. Uh, I'm running two of this just because uh, I didn't really like Link Belt too much in the deck. This has a much better effect that works with um, cards like your Twin Triangle Dragon. So with this, if this card is in your graveyard and you control no cards, you can special summon both this card and one level four lower dragon monster from your hand in defense, but banish this card when it leaves the field. You can lose the effect once per turn. So easy field swarm, once again, for sure, uh, with this card. So can't go wrong there. And I also run two White Dragon Wyvern Buster. Uh, all the dragons in this deck are pretty much dark. So easy special summon once again by just banishing a dark uh, from your uh, graveyard to get this guy out. 
And I also run one of the new Defrag Dragon, just one of this because you can special summon this card from your hand by sending one other monster from your hand to the graveyard. You can only special summon Defrag once per turn this way, and if it's in your graveyard, you can banish three monsters in your graveyard with the same name except for Defrag. Special summon this card, you can only use the effect uh, once per turn. Uh, so basically, you send background uh, with this card because it's the fastest way to get it into the graveyard, obviously. Might bump it up to two. If I do, I would uh, probably take out either one of the Shell Rockets or the Anis the Rocket for this card, just for easy speed summons to the field for different link plays, obviously. And then for some other uh, one ofs, one Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Uh, easy to get this card out. All you have to do is banish one face of dragon type monster, and then he gives you another free special summon of a dragon from your hand or graveyard. So fill the field and go for your link summons. And also one Destrudo, uh, the Lost Dragons, Frisson with this card. Um, just the pay the half life point thing, get on the field, and you have synchro options that I run with this deck as well in the form of Black Rose and Moonlit, so you can get some pretty powerful uh, synchro dragons out on the field using your other monsters in this card. And that's it for the monster lineup with the deck, we'll now move on to the spells. I run three quick launch, uh, very very good with the deck. You special summon one rocket monster from your deck, but it cannot attack, also destroy it during the end phase. You can either use it for a link summon or destroy it during the end phase and then get your special summon off uh, with that rocket monster. It's a quick play as well, so you can set it and use it on your opponent's turn to protect you from the additional monsters, excuse me, and um, you know can't go wrong uh, with as much special summoning as you can. And just two squib draw, um, basically quick launch is more consistent since it's guaranteed to give you um, the uh, special summon, but with squib draw you have to have the rocket monster on the field to destroy and draw two cards, which is nice because you get the destroy effect at the end of the turn and the draw two then to use. Uh, I feel we'll use this more when we get more rocket monsters obviously, and then it'll probably bump up to three, but until then just a two of. And for the field spell, three boot sector launch. You special summon uh, using this card once per turn from either your hand or your graveyard. So um, basically reuse your um, rocket monsters. You can, and they also all gain 300 attack and defense, bumping up some of your 1800s to 21 with bigger numbers that definitely help. You special summon up to two rocket monsters with different names from your hand and defense. Or if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, special summon rocket monsters with different names from your graveyard and defense up to the difference. So depending on what situation you're in, uh, both can come in handy. You just can only use uh, this effect of Boot Sector Launch once per turn. And you have to remember that. Activate one of these effects. So definite three of because it does help with a lot of your plays, especially once you go through a lot of your resources for your big link summons. One terraforming just to search out the Boot Sector Launch faster also as well. And also to transmodify, this is just to get them faster into the graveyard as well for cards like Boot Sector Launch, or if you just need some other better options on the field to destroy with cards like Bora Load. And I also have the two Allura Darkness in at the moment. If you want to take out the one off start that I run for a third, you can. Uh, plenty of darks to make the Allures very, very consistent. Um, just have the third Allure in another deck at the moment, but upstart, you know, just draw power once again going through a 40 card deck. But you can swap it out for a third Allure if you wish to. And I also run one Dragon Shrine and one Foolish Burial. You can run the two Dragon Shrine if you want, if you don't want to run Foolish Burial. You're running all dragons, so um, get background dragon into your graveyard. Uh, Frissen, whatever you want for the specific situation you're going for with these cards. And lastly, to finish up the main deck, one Soul Charge. Reuse your resources after you use them, especially if you um, you know, have a big dragon out on the field like Bora Load, then you Soul Charge, get a bunch of monsters on the field, and you're basically playing Rocket Wall with um, all your monsters and all that. So very, very um, good with the deck. Uh, no traps, uh, because your big plays are just getting out your big monsters. And all the traps that we have until Cybernetic Horizon, which we do get some that very, very help with the special summon, would just slow down some of your other plays. But now moving on to the extra deck. One Tubal Logic, Trisbana. Uh, great card with the deck. I, I call it the decode for a Revolver's deck. If a monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to, banish as many of those monsters as possible. Also, as many spell and traps on the field as possible. And if you do, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent for each of their cards banished by this effect and you only need two effect monsters to make this card so um, you can't go wrong there either very very easy to make with great arrows and a great effect to go for game finishers and also one triple burst uh, pretty standard burn and 
I dot burn, but effect negation during the damage step and um, additional ways to get out other link monsters as well. Um, also, Boro Load and Topologic are your big ones. Can't wait till we get Boro Guard and Laser Guard. It's going to make the deck a lot more fun, plus different options to go for your big link summonings. Um, Bow's a Legend and Cybernetic Horizon is where we'll be getting those cards, so definitely can't wait until we get that support. And also, two Twin Triangle. This is just easy links. You just need two level four lower dragon monsters. Get big ones back onto the field as well. With this effect negating them, but then you have options for other link summons, especially with your link threes. Also, one Underclock, one Proxy Dragon uh, for the rest of the link twos. And for other link threes, one Ningirsu, one Gaia Saber, and one Deco Talker. And for the Synchros, as I stated earlier, Black Rose and Black Rose Moonlight Dragon for the Frisson plays that you can do to get out some other dragon monsters as well. And for Exceeds, just one Baguska and one Tornado Dragon. Options with some of the level 4s you can do, including Gateway, Magna Rocket, um, Metal Rocket, you name it. Um, sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't, but they definitely do come in handy. But yeah, that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.